Let's say that you wanted to build a Chrome extension. How would you do it? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how. I'm also going to explain how you can use a tool like make.com to allow you to send and receive information. And I'll also show you how to install this on your local computer, desktop, or laptop. So if that sounds interesting, let's get right into it. So the first thing that you might want to do is get some ideas. So what type of Chrome extensions might be useful for me if I'm a X? So this is a good exercise to do because it will allow you to get ideas if you don't know specifically what kind of extension you want to build. And it will make it specific to your exact case or your exact use case. So if I'm a freelance writer, let's see. So you can create writing and editing tools like Grammarly. Okay, this is going out and finding ideas of other tools that already exist. This is great, but I want to build a simple tool that I would be using for the first time. Let's see. Okay, now it's going into actually how to do it, which is basically the next step. So that's great. But what I want is give me ideas or 10 tools I can build. All right, so quick note, simple note, pad extension for jotting down ideas, snippets of text and important reminders. You can integrate with Chrome Storage API to save notes even after the browser is closed. Okay. Word counter, great, task tracker, clipboard manager. Okay, let's say that I actually like the first one. So a quick note. Let's say we have a simple notepad extension for jotting down ideas, snippets of text and important reminders. Then it can integrate with Chrome storage. Okay, so what I will do actually is I will take this first part. So I will build a simple notepad extension for jotting down ideas, snippets of text and important reminders. And I will have a button that when the user presses it, it will send an email with whatever is in that text box. The extension will live up here next to the other ones. And it's just about pressing the button, entering the text and hitting submit. And then you'll get an email with whatever the text that was entered might be. So let's build that. So let's say I want to build this extension. A simple node extension for the thing down ideas, some soft text and important reminders. It will have a simple text box at the top, then a submit button. Or let's call it then an email me the info button. When the user presses this button, this will trigger a webhook in make.com with this address and sends the inputted data from the text box via make. Actually, that's the whole flow, right? But for the sake of building it, it will have a simple text box at the top, then an email me the info button. When the user presses this button, it will trigger a webhook in middle form with this address. Perfect. That's it. And I'll explain all of this in a second. So this is my plan for building this. I'll hit enter and get back to it. So and this is make.com, which is a no code automation builder. It's a great tool for building your own solutions or any type of situation where you need to connect and transform data. So if you have an input, an output, and potentially you want to do something to the data in between, make.com is a great way to connect to various different sources. So in this case, I'm going to have a webhook, which is a custom webhook. And what this will do is, let's call it Chrome extension webhook. And what this will do is it will be on the lookout or it will be listening for anything that gets sent to this address right here. So when someone sends any data to this address, it will be listening and it will trigger this whole automation. 
So for now, I'm just going to copy this. And ChatGPT has already created the code that I need to create. It's, our, it's also giving me the steps. So set up the project, create the manifest file, create the HTML, create the JavaScript, add icons. Okay, great. So what I need to do is, let's say, replace with the stuff I copied from make. Then I want to give me the all the files I need to create as a downloadable file or as a downloadable zip file. And that will make it that much easier to get this all going. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a Gmail module here because I want to send an email and I'll set it up so I chose from where the email should go out I will write my own email as well so it will send it to me here I will say you have a new note and here I can say hey Kevin here is a new note for you and here I will eventually add whatever the user has passed on. Okay, so that's pretty much it for now. And I can hit OK. Now let's go back to ChatGPT. I can download the simple notepad extension. So what I will do is take the downloaded zip file, extract it, and this has given me three files right here. But I believe I should have more than three files. One, two, three. Okay, That's, that looks okay. Next, I'm going to go to Chrome slash slash extensions. I'm going to choose load unpacked. And I'm going to find the folder I just unzipped. Here I am. I'm going to hit select. And as you can see, I run into an error. Which is okay. I'm just going to copy that. Hit cancel, go back to chat GPT and say, I got this error. Hit enter. And now it will go back and make some adjustments. So it's creating the updated zip file, file one, file two, and file three. creating the updated zip file with the icons. Okay, that's taking a lot of time. Um, can you give me the updated files as a zip downloadable file? Let's stop that, paste that. That's what happens. Okay, let's try to refresh this. Say you will update it files as a, as a downloadable zip, not should be zip. Let's see if this will work now. If not, there's a quick fix. Okay, doesn't do the quick fix. So this is the JavaScript. So I'm going to copy that. Open that with. So it's open with text edit. Paste the new code. We're going to do the same with the HTML. Open with text edit. Hmm. 
looks weird. I'm not sure that's going to work, but let's see. And this is the JSON. So open with text edit and paste that as well. Go back to extensions, load unpack, and that is not working again. All right, let's go back here. And this is great because sometimes this works immediately, sometimes it doesn't. For example, this has never my testing not been able to create this. For some reason, it's still going on. Let's go with a few more seconds. Analyzing, import zip file. I don't know why that HTML will be very weird. Open the width. Let's turn it into the normal text. Hit save. You know, instead of pop up the TXT. I don't know if I can change it to the HTML. Use HTML. Okay, let's see if that works. So try. No. Still not working. Okay. So let's try this again. So what I'm gonna do is copy this, copy the webhook, and copy this. I'm going to open up a new window. I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to replace DX with the webhook URL, which is right here. And I'm going to add, give me all the files I need to create as a downloadable zip file. Let's see if that will work. And what I'll also do is create under window and only paste that in. So breaking it down into two separate steps instead of asking it to create the files and create the zip file as well. Can you give me the files as a download? The downloadable. Let's try that. I see here it says you need to create or find suitable icons for your extension. Save them as icon. So probably this is why it wasn't working in the first place. Okay. This actually is saying it created the thing for me. So let's see. So I'm here in the folder, extracted as before, and this is simple Moped extension one. So I'm gonna go to that folder. We're gonna hit select. And as you can see, all right, extension loaded. So it's called simple Moped 1.0. And if I go to my extensions right there, I can pin it to my Chrome bar. It's right here and let's test this out so we're gonna go back to make hit run once and actually i'm gonna unlink this because at the moment there's no information being passed from this to this so hit run once i'm gonna open the extension you can see the window is very small but this is all stuff that i can fix later on let's say that I know I have a task list which is um, finish writing article, create a new video, go to the gym. Okay. Email me the info. I got this notification, email sent successfully, which is a nice touch. And as you can see in Make, I immediately got the information to the webhook. Task list, finish article, finish writing article, create a video, go to the gym. So the connection between the Chrome extension and make.com is definitely working. 
what I'm gonna do now is attach to modules, go back to the email, and now instead of the xxx, I can add the text from the webhook. And just like that, if I hit OK, hit save and hit run once, what I'm gonna do is say, okay, now my task list is, I don't know, take the dog for a walk and um, meet my friends. Hit OK. Simple notepad, email sent successfully. If I go to my email, yeah, so here's the notes here, Kevin. Here's a new note for you, take it up for a walk and meet my friends, which is exactly what I wanted to happen right here. So hey Kevin, here's a new note for you. There's a lot of things that can be made better in this situation, but as a concept, it's as easy as that. What I would suggest is then to take this information and make adjustments. For example, I want this to be bigger, like a bigger window. So I can say, okay, by default, I want it to look I don't know, like this. Maybe I don't want to have a pop-up window that comes up when I hit email with the info. So I can remove that pop-up notification. Maybe I want to do something with the data. So in between here, I can add something that would enhance the data. So if it's taking the dog for a walk or meeting my friends, maybe I can get questions that help me understand if I am missing something or I can connect to a, I don't know, chat GPT module and get information on the steps needed to complete a step. So that would be helpful. So the email would have all the complete information. So there's a lot of things that you can do once you get the information in make, as they say, the sky is the limit. So anyway, that's pretty much it in terms of creating a Chrome extension. In this case, it's a very simple notepad example, but I hope that it gives you ideas on the things that you can do with even such a simple automation. If you love this video, hit the like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what type of automations you want to see because I'm really getting into these and we'll be creating even more automations in the near future. So let me know what you think. Thank you.